Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the serious strategy gamer. And I'm the antagonist voice, and we're back playing Suzerain. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, yes, it we, has. we actually needed to remind ourselves what was happening last time. So, yeah, Rumbuck is doing some exercises, I think, some military exercises close to... Nobel has taught somewhere around here. I don't know precisely, uh, but I think the gist of it is that they are... Um, well, infringing on our borders. And we've got Taurus holding. Um, and we were actually debating whether that happened last time or the one time before. I think it was the time before. So that is the construction company building the railway between Holsort and that port city, Lachaven. Lachaven, Lachaven. Do you see? There's a little bit of a progress bar now. Yeah, they so actually good. started doing that. I think that's what happened last time. Okay, so nothing good. in the news. Nope. So I let's continue. We're actually going to get to the trials of democracy. Okay, that sounds uh, ominous. Oh, I know what happened last time. We also talked to that judge, um, Hawker or something. Oh, yeah. Who's, um, and we rejected him, his, basically. His offer, yeah. Yes. And he was saying, basically, take emergency measures. I'll be here with Frank, our son. Okay. So, good weather. We are outside and... <laughs> Having dinner, Monica and Diana. So, Frank is our son, am I right? Yep. Yep. That's Frank. Oh, yeah. Monica. Oh, <laughs> I was actually saying she was our daughter, but she's our. Why? Okay, there we go. Then. So, da, there's da, da, a bit da, da. of uncertainty about Frank. He's not a big fan of being in the spotlight so much, I think. So, let's see what's up with him. Is so. somewhat vaguely friendly here. So he wants to talk to us. Oh, or is come he on. just being. He's just being teenage angst ish. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, I know I haven't been around very often lately. <laughs> okay. So, what is it, the significance of this meeting? I mean. <laughs> I'm starting to not like him, honestly. He's just, just very not understanding. Um. Well, yes, good job. I, I don't, I seriously, yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> At least he's a little bit self-ironic. Okay, oh, well, he's actually ironic resolution. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, um. Oh. How, how old are you exactly? High school age, whatever that means. I'm sure you're allowed to drink beer. <laughs> if or not, I mean, <laughs> depending on where. Mum told me, yeah. Well, I mean, where you are, we are in some sort of Europe-ish country, so I guess that. I guess you're allowed to. Dr I mean, him drinking beer is not our biggest problem no, but yet. No, no. So. <laughs> so our old father was a hardworking man. Always had our best interests in mind. But, but he had a temper. Oh, lash out. No, 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 no. That's not good. Yeah. So he wants to ask something. Go on. Go on. There, I feel like there's so much you've been hiding from me about your past and about what's going on right now. Like at dinner that night after the ball, you told me everything was under control, but it wasn't, was it? <laughs> no, no, we're actually madly dancing on the lip of a volcano while everything crumbles around us, so no, it's not under control. I know what happened in the 20s, we learned all about it in school. Now, with the protests and the riots, is it going to be the same thing? Well, no, probably not. Is there going uh, to be a civil war? Certainly I hope, hope not. not. <laughs> I mean, don't make promises you can't keep. Okay, he wants to tell us about what we went through in the 20s. Soldiers are flashing before my eyes. Um, so he doesn't have. Well, those were dark times. They were. I think we have to things. recognize that. Yeah, let's talk about it. Civil War? What do you think? Maybe about the Civil War. 
it was right after I met your mother. <laughs> we had <laughs> both the political debate group <laughs> to push for the change after the coup of 27. But after the next year, but over the next year, the state of Sorton deteriorated. So clashes. The different factions in the army, so the fascist general Lutheran and the other by socialist general Ricard started fighting against each other and each other and stayed mm. out of it. Yeah, we stayed out of it because we didn't really okay, that's talking about the other thing too. Um Yeah, studying and economics. So we yes, were studying yes. and doing the coup. Military trucks arrived doing classes, and soldiers pointed guns at us that were supposed to protect the Sortland citizens. It's a coup, and it's not a good thing. Yeah, so people were arrested immediately. Our son is shocked. <laughs> like a coward, like a sensible man who we fled. Come on, you do deserve to know. Yeah. I decided that it was impossible to go against them anyway. You know, I still I still maintain it was justified. It was you don't you don't it sounds romantic, but sometimes it's just not that's just not enough. Not to take any sides. Um yeah, I think I think they're actually a little bit part of the same coin. Both of the, both of the uh, fascists and and the communists uh, were certainly in it for for the violence and and trying to maintain their side with with violence. And we're a bit more for centralists, so I think that would make sense. Yeah. Okay. What uh, da -da -da -da. problems? Oh, he has problems. Yeah, let's hear about that. Oh, or not. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay. Okay, that was so uh, lots was of like news. Are there going to be good news? Communist books burned in Boren. Not lots good of news. Bees. Not good news. Okay. Lots of bees, yeah. Prisoner right in Anthony Rock prison. Political um, prisoners political and the right started when a warden was killed by a bluish political prisoner. Four guards, 21 pri prisoners dead. Not good. Mono industrial output concerns. Ooh. 12% and lower. Yeah, the economy still is not doing that great. They are requesting support to improve their industrial capacity, including machinery and personnel, uh -huh. to combat the, the downward trend. Well, okay. you're not alone in that. The entire country yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we got more political, less good regions than that. But bluish, 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 bluish. Yeah, sort of the ethnic minority there. Lack of hospitals. Okay. They are overburdened. There was something else there. Go back. Um, yeah, I was just uh, trying to see whether there's any other news that we're missing. It's farmers it's again. again. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, but ev that everyone is is not doing great. DSP reform uh, report on reforms stated that without ministry reforms. Okay, you want ministry reforms. So let's keep that in mind. All right, that seems to be about it. So let's visit them. Snow-covered city of Narbel. In the Nargis region for the Rural Development Forum. Okay, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education. Gritty tones to it. It's one of the poorer cities. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> not, not a good region. Among, among our many poor cities, <laughs> this is one of the poorest. Yeah. It's oh, like, it's gritty, it's, it's snow-covered, it's close to the border with military activity. I mean, and, and if you can get away... Do it now. <laughs> Re read the next paragraph. <laughs> Even after natural the resources. Uh, natural, yeah. That does not tend to make cities more more. Uh, gas more and fun oil were number. Either. Okay, gas and oil were found, and they are now under the control of Gazom. Yeah. Gazom. Okay, that was a player. 
Does only look a little bit no, like Gazprom, no? no, no. Doesn't what? It? What? What? <laughs> Main roads, neglect, everything is not so great. Okay, we understand. Oh, uh, we've got Serge here. That's lovely. He's always a nice person, isn't he? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, he is great. Okay, it's, it's nice to hear that you've got a family and everything, but... I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> I do not it's like, I mean, you're you're, you're pretty dumb, uh, but she she might she must have taken the smart of the, after her mother. That's nice. Let's 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 keep it at the nicer one. I also think it's good to to recognize how wife is is. Doing her own thing too. Right. Um, can we get to the political decisions? You, uh, he does want to talk to us. Let him talk to us. He wa obviously We've wants to ask us some. some you know, see, his daughter got into some school, but. Um, apparently, he does need our help. Okay. Wants our our influence. So I'm guessing we're gonna ask about the hospital. I'm not sure. Now he would have been treating one of the suburban hospitals, but thanks to the special coverage of the presidential staff, uh -huh. we were transferred to Emerald State Hospital. Okay. Well, good for him, but I don't necessarily mm -hmm. like the idea that. Yeah, yeah. I, you I need think to we increase the quality of the services for all. Okay, let's see. Yes. Probably should. Yes, it is. <laughs> we barely have any budget. University we education. About good private school. Yeah, state of the economy. We're not gonna no, pay like no. our one personal wealth and give it to Serge. Sorry, Serge. No, we, we do need to fix the economy. Also, yeah. I mean, it's it's yes, I do want to care for Serge, but it's it's we have broader issues to tackle here than that one person as president at least. Bump. I would also <laughs> also think that we'd also need to invest in the infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. Well, best hotel, twenty-five story building. Okay, that's nice. Nearby it slums. <laughs> Not towered so much. over the nearby slums. The crowd was gathered in front of the hotel. Major. I could see the mayor of Marbella and his top aides. Thank you, Sarge. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Let's get to the. <laughs> okay, really, that was it. No briefing. Let's let's hear about the briefing. So, meeting we arrived the... with Sierra and Pascal. Pascal is Minister of Health. Don't think we've seen them before, no, have we? No. No. What I is he about so. them? Wrote eight books. The unfortunate man. Family of pauper stricken miners. So sort of leftish. No, he was also initially. Well, ah, that's interesting. Initially, a supporter of Alfonso, the free market guy before us, and now he's against free market. Got it. Gain some pounds, and will you? Cicero Minister Warner. of Education. I mean, the, these are the two ministries yeah. we are meeting with. But I don't think we've seen it before, have we? No. Okay, let's just see what they have. Uh, spectacular indeed. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's she's very much in your in our face already. So most of the people here are workers, farmers, and their wives and children. Breakbacks. Have the working class. Obviously, wives are uh, neither workers nor farmers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like any of these choices. This is this is too much. 
socialist. This is this is in theory correct, but it, it gives off some some blase, it's which I dislike. That's not the right thing to say in that moment. No. I would go for number one though. No. Eye to eye. Real problems. Real problems like poverty. Yeah, we're trying to get the economy running to so make everyone. Pascal better. agrees because he also has written a lot of books about mm -hmm. sort and less fortunate, as we just learned, and he has a personal background. Both of these are fine, I think. I would go for number two because uh, honestly, no. we were never that poor as That's far true. as I can remember about the personal history. No, no, we were middle class. Sympathize with the plight of these people, yes. You don't have to be being po born poor. Oh, and parity among the sexes. That's uh, also an interesting topic here. Shouldn't be our first priority, okay. Think about how Lilia's graph got to her current position. Oh, I don't necessarily ah. believe the rumors about her and Saul, but she could never have risen so high if she didn't parrot his calls. That's interesting. I oh. mean, you are the feminist here, and still you are bringing that up in this meeting. Oh, yeah, it's a very feminist position to look down on other Whoop. women, don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, a staunch conservative. Yes, 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 yes. Denied opportunity. Advance. So on and so forth. So. What is the question? The question seems to be. I don't actually. Know. Wait a minute. So. Does anyone care that your chief, chief strategist, Lucian, doesn't have a wife? No. No, honestly, I don't care. And if he's gay, and or if he just doesn't, he... I think she's bird off topic here a little bit. No, honestly, that's his business. So I'm not gonna. Well, no, it's not about him. It's it's the no. What she's saying, as far as I get it, but you click through it quite quickly, is that um, women get criticized, and men don't. For yeah, that's doing that's the same thing basically. That's that's. Maybe fair enough, but she's she's going to the point where she's asking why isn't he married, and if she's insinuating that that he's gay and that no 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 she's not asking why isn't he married she's asking does anyone care if he has a wife or not, while women are denigrated as angry spinsters when they don't use uh, well when they don't marry or they. Uh, Want to achieve their goals in other ways? Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be saying that I'm fine with any of the choices two, three, or four. Let's go for number four. Do, do, do. Yes. Mm, yeah. Well. Mm. I would normally agree to you if if it was a particularly peaceful time and if we didn't have any internal um, security issues. But they they are kind of pressing concerns right now, and I think we cannot really ignore those. Yeah, but it's true that she's saying welfare, healthcare, and education system, and a lack of those um, leads to hopelessness and can drive people to extreme solutions. So the increased crime, domestic violence, and whatever is uh, is a problem. Sure, sure. I'm just saying that once tanks are rolling across our border, our education system sort of takes a backseat. Yes, of course it does. But right now, <laughs> they're not yet. Um, I would say we primarily want to stop the recession, create jobs and growth, and somewhat hope that that is going to solve it while also try to carefully steer it that way too. I don't think that 
stopping the recession is the only thing that yep. needs to be done. So yep. I, I would rather say number two must be okay. tackled from Fair different enough. directions. Because the other thing is just like, let's only go for the economy and then everything else will sort itself out. And that is not true. Another so. subject, the rights of workers in our country. Okay. Interesting. So another draft bill that we at some point might want to sign or not. Mr. Clevin has already backed me. Who's that? Huh. Member of the United Scotland Party. He's the leader of the progressive faction of the party. Good. Okay. Okay. R risen during Alfonso. He's the face of a new gen uh. generation. So he's okay. a bit more okay. So he's for so workers' rights. So after the recession, he abandoned his support to for Alfonso and w nominated himself. Well, why not go for <laughs> it? <laughs> I mean, but he didn't get much. Yeah, but he's calling for a constitutional reform. Okay, that's, that's okay. Good. Doesn't sound like uh, he's our enemy. Actually, it sounds like we yeah. could work with him. I mean, it's a, it's it's I nice to 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 make that. I don't want to put it into a point where it would actively be be driving us further into the recession, uh, but I don't think that's. I, I would say two. I don't see where the difference is much between number one and number two. I, I think this is more affirmative. This is more saying yes, we need to do it, and this is more a little bit like yeah, well, we can all, always yeah. do something. Uh, okay. I, I don't think we can do something. I will not let you down. Okay, Pascal. Glad okay. about that. A matter of life. Okay. Oh. People die because of employers' disregard for the workers' safety. So would you back the bill when it arrives on your desk? Depends on the details, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. You will receive all the sections in an outline. Let's head inside shoulder. and continue. We had it back inside. Wait, weren't we in a in a big conference room? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, thought I, so. I thought we were like looking out the window, and now I don't know. Oh, small gifts. That's kind. Right. Um, health or education? We're gonna hear everything anyway, so we'll go for whatever. Let's, let's go for Sierra. education. Okay. I'm slightly more concerned about that. So, Scottish education is free. But we have a very outdated system that she wants to reform. So there's also lack of access in rural areas, especially for young <laughs> girls. Our administration has the power to solve th both problems. Okay. I, I'm yeah. hearing four problems. <laughs> outdated system, lack of access, especially in rural areas, and especially for young girls. Right, okay, enough funding. Yeah, fair, but again, budget is constrained. So, and she wants to cleanse the education system of its nationalistic indoctrination and sexist teaching. Honestly, I, I can get behind that much more. I mean, yeah, asking asking us for money, we are a bit tight, tight on that. But in, in terms of uh, what can be uh, what can be put into the teaching, I would agree. Yeah, yeah. So, Ooh. ask about the literacy rate. I mean, this is very sure. basic. I mean, we should know that. 80%. 80%. Mm. Okay, I think for the time, maybe it's okay. So, Bergenia and Agenland. This is the northern region. Agenland it? is the northern region yeah, next to Agnasia. Yeah, something like and that. And Bergia is uh, where all of these Fludish people are. It's sort of in the southwest. Uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Next to the other country. Slachavin. So okay. now nah, she's also has a yeah. vast number of illiterate, but Lachaven is skews it because it yeah. probably doesn't. Okay, how many students do we actually have? Five million Five students, million. three million in primary, one million in secondary, one million in tertiary. Okay. Okay, hundred fifty thousand teachers. That's a pretty high student to to teacher ratio. Whatever. Yeah. Change in the way of thought. Yeah. Question and educate themselves. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Tell me about it between urban and rural. What is the difference? 
Okay. Three Urban times. areas have three times the numbers of schools per 10,000 people compared to rural areas. Rural lack areas, of teachers. lack of teachers. Desolate area. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not a very good ratio. One of the most important. Okay. okay. A huge part of the population is forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So let's talk about healthcare. Not gonna be good. Eh? <laughs> no, it's okay, not it's also free. Yeah. Uh, as as well as the education, the few private hospitals are operating under it. Um, most okay. of the populace receives adequate treatment. Mm. Health issues permanently appear in rural areas. Well, that doesn't really go with what our driver Sarge said, but okay. Okay, he is doing his best to ensure best health care for everybody. There's a high infant and maternal mortality problems. Yeah, let's, let's heard ask, about that. Let's ask the same question that I have. So how many beds do we have? 10 beds per 10,000. 10, I have no idea whether that is a high or low number. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's sort of in the middle. I mean, it That's doesn't interesting. It Lesbia is the, uh, the capitalist country to our south. These guys are the sort of friendly neighbors to the but north. But very poor neighbors. They yeah. highly rely on us. Yeah. And Velen is the dictatorship, right? I think so. And Falksland? Oh, yeah. That's the across the sea, the socialists. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, so mm. uh, Sierra is also saying Agnolia and Velen. She doesn't really want to compare with those. 65 years. Well, for the 1940s. Infant mortality rate is 85 per 1,000 births. That is pretty high. Maternal mortality is 90 per 1,000. Wow. That's a lot, isn't it? That's, that's, that's very, I mean, that's almost 1%. Yeah. Yeah, obviously you're so not doing- So that's almost 10%? No. No. 90 per thousand is 9 per hundred. Yeah, it's yeah. nearly 10%. Almost 10%. And 85. That's crassly high. But why is it, be assured that we are doing everything we can to save mothers and their newborns? No, obviously not, because... <laughs> well, I think from here on onwards. <laughs> yeah, let's work on that. Um, just how many doctors? Okay, 30,000. Yeah. Good point. Per 10,000 10, people in urban areas, there are about 11 doctors, where in rural areas, there are only three. three. Mm -hmm. Treatment time is still too high due to the low number of doctors in rural ar areas. Okay. Okay, I see. So, healthcare and education have very similar problems to deal with in terms of how well it works in urban and rural areas. Well, how not well it works. Uh, Kiara seems to have something on her mind. Uh, yeah, desolate situation. Forgotten regions. Fueled by capitalism. Ah! Yeah, we knew it. She was sort of more of a leftist. No, I'm not going to say Tarkin Sol is... Let's not go into an uh, yeah. ideological Let's, let's just debate. focus on, on getting things better. The issues stem from the ideology. Well, you just said they don't. <laughs> so she said it's it's capitalism. But on the other hand, I mean, Tarquin Soul was, was state, state owned businesses either. And that didn't seem to make these areas less forgotten, did it? Yes, greed and unchecked capitalism will not magically provide for the people. Yeah, uh, let's hear from Pascal. So he created plans to increase the salary of doctors to upgrade the equipment of the hospitals. Yeah, well, well I'm, I'm not sure that the increasing the salary of doctors is, is necessarily gonna... He wants more money! <laughs> Everyone wants <laughs> more money! Ooh, interesting. A privatization plan to promote private investments in the healthcare system could allocate extra funds. 
Now that is interesting because I think it would be good to get extra funds. I am, however, worried about the. Um, I don't like the idea of privatized healthcare so much. Access is an issue, but not quick, not as critical as the quality in these areas. Okay, fair enough. So he. I do hope to create competition, increase the quality of healthcare with the privatization. That is so, so important on the details, at least in real life. Yeah, yeah it, it's, I, I see a big problem there. So she's obviously against that. So what do you want? <laughs> more, more budget. She wants money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's very true to to the to the real life uh, political experience. Everyone's always wants more money. <laughs> I aim to solve the problems we highlighted with the allocated money. Yeah, building schools, education system, potential of boys and girls alike. Yeah. So. Yes, 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 we heard about that, actually. So he's asking <laughs> he's if he want, uh, won't do private education. She doesn't like that, because they're focused on profit. Well, I mean, we, 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 we know, you know, said this uh, gentleman here, for this run at least, he's a little bit more capitalist, so I think some area there might, might be okay. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, you can do have a private sector in tertiary education, but not in primary, I find. At least it needs to be closely supervised, if, if anything. Um, briefings, other significant issues, other significant issues? No, uh, no, sorry, that is... No, no, it's like yeah. you're telling you, them we have more important things, or... I That's appreciate just appreciate your briefings yeah. and plans. Bye bye. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, the budgeting will be will be tough, and I'm not sure. sure I mean, we they can both uh, probably want, but like one budget, one <laughs> unit of budget. One unit per budget for education, one for for healthcare, one for the security forces, one for the military. Yeah. Uh, and we have one. We have one. <laughs> so that's good. Right, uh, and that is it, I think. Oh, yes. People are hope happy to eyes. see us. Yeah. Some people were, didn't have shoes. Well, I mean, that's true. They, they do seem to be a little bit forgotten, you know, but... Um, yeah. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, the railway is progressing. That's that's uh, good news. Yeah. I ho really hope that that does give us some bonus here to, to growth, because otherwise... I uh, hope so, because up until now... Nothing really good, uh, like nothing big that nope, not as that. a step forward has happened so far. I mean, we are still basically just encountering problems all yes. the time. We're learning. We're learning more about these fascinating problems, though. So that's that's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, hoping that next time we will be making uh, some progress on at least some of these issues. And maybe we even have a railway by then. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and everything, and hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye.